Hey guys, I was looking for radiator placement in this case for a couple days now. I would like to share with you some considerations that I come through in a more or less fast manner. So, uh, my most natural place to put one of the triple radiator in this particular case would be on the back. So we have an airflow across, hot air pushed out on the back, um, no obstruction with any of the components, even with sick fans. Uh, enough space to do everything. Now the question is where you put second or potentially even third radiator. And um, the options pretty much is on the side panels, one of the side panels, or on the top. That's uh, only spaces that um, you can use. Of course you can put a radiator on the front as well, but pushing hot air inside of the case probably not the best option because uh, you're just heating up other components. So um, let me try to turn the case for you so from the back that's how it looks um, I probably need to paint fans on the back as well you can't really see them but maybe for completion of the system makes sense so now looking on the side panel here so my second place that I tried to put radiator on was, was on the side panel so I have one exhaust on the back one exhaust on the side and uh, if we look what's happening here so when we have a radiator second triple radiator placed uh, on a side panel we start interfering with the first one one of the points is actual tube routing I can deal with this if I flip radiator which I don't want to do but potentially I can now if I actually will start putting fans if I take for example here obstruction became even worse and you start obstructing one of the fans um, one of the part of the radiator on the back and in this case it defeats the purpose basically if I do that I probably can use double radiator with the same result so why why do triple when you can't really provide proper airflow to it so side panel became a little bit a problem so if I want to do side panel I probably should do two radiators on both side panels don't do it on the back but in this scenario I think it will be difficult to maintain computer in terms of you need to open it and do some maintenance and uh, it will be really awkward to remove side panel with tube attached, with water, it's heavy. Uh, so basically you have to do all maintenance from the top, which also can be a little bit awkward. So I think that um, if I don't use a uh, double radiator on a side panel instead of triple, or I don't use both radiator on the sides, my only other option would be try to see if I can put a radiator on um, top panel. So I have one on the back, one on the top. So both radiator fan clearance I think pretty good. So I can, uh, it's not too close to the motherboard. One concern that because you have inlet outlet in those, those locations when you start bleeding system it will be probably a little bit awkward to to push air out because you need to push air down so I think the solution would be probably try to flip the case and try to get air this way um, I don't have it with tube routing anymore so I can connect everything on this side because this is a window side and I'd like to keep it clean the only problem that I have here a little bit I have interference with the uh, exhaust fan but um, I think that uh, it can be addressed if I use a not 55 millimeter fan and just a bit smaller. Other than that, I think that is what I will try to build and use uh, for this particular build. Uh, my next step would be paint fans so they all look more or less the same. And um, when the radiators and fans fixed, I have all proper size of the screws which is always challenge then I can actually start building in um, water cooling system which is probably will be a little bit easier process 
um, because based on the standard parts comparing with everything else. I will continue to work on the build and will update you as I will get further progress and it will be worthwhile to talk about. Thank you for watching.